Hello guys, this is a tutorial video about uh, how to work with uh, Innova from L'Oreal Professional. Innova is the last generation of colors from L'Oreal and it's uh, ammonia free color. Uh, today L'Oreal sell four types of colors. Uh, two of them are uh, permanent colors like Majorelle, the classic based on ammoniac and Innova which is uh, ammonia free permanent color uh, and uh, also L'Oreal has one type of uh, semi-permanent color which is also split into two subclasses in which cases should you use a permanent color and in which cases you should use a semi-permanent color I recommend to use permanent color like you know or Majorelle uh, when you color a hair first time or you want to make some uh, bigger changes for example you want a light hair or you have more than 70 percent of white hair then you should use Innova or Marjorel but when you repeat uh, a color for example when you have um, growing roots you need to color your roots and refresh the um, top of hair then I recommend you to color your roots with a permanent color like Innova or Majorelle and the top you can color with DRHS or DL Light uh, using the same number of color. In the future I'm going also to make a tutorials video about uh, Majorelle and DIA. But now let's start uh, to talk about uh, Innova. We start with mixing ratio which is uh, one part of uh, color mixing with one part of development developer um, here we have a developer of uh, 10 20 and 30 volumes uh, which are uh, 3 6 and 9 percent um, in which cases uh, which developer should we use when we need to go up one level then we use all time uh, 10 volumes or 3% of developer uh, we can also use 3% uh, when we dye our hair in the same tone or um, darker then we, we can also use 3% uh, 20 volumes or 6% of uh, developer we use when we need to go two steps uh, lighter or when we have uh, white hair and uh, now 9% of peroxide we use when we need to light our hair three steps lighter. Application waiting time is um, 35 minutes. And also here we have some uh, technical rules when we have um, white hair. When we have uh, uh, more than 70% of white hair uh, like we can see here on this picture here we have 70% uh, of white hair then we should um, make a special mix to cover the white hair we need to mix our uh, dream shade with uh, some of uh, fundamentals uh, colors let's see an example here we have the uh, the hair with 70% uh, of white hair and uh, here we have the fundamental colors which are also of uh, two types uh, for example this is the naturals uh, fundamental colors and here we have the gold fund fundamental colors um, and uh, when our dream shade is a cold color then we, we mix one part of the dream shade with one part of uh, uh, natural fundamental colors but when our dream shade is a warm color then we mix our dream shade with a, a gold fundamental color on the same level and also mix it with six percent of peroxide and apply it on our hair and uh, now let's see the numbering system in Innova. Uh, as uh, we know professional colors doesn't have uh, names of colors instead of that uh, we have uh, numbers of colors and here we can uh, uh, learn how to read the numbers we have here one example 
um, we have a, a color which na number is 7.43 the first uh, number before point shows us uh, the level of color for example number 7 is uh, blonde so here we have uh, the level of color blonde and uh, the second uh, number after point shows the primary reflect like here which is copper here we have the reflects and number four is uh, copper and the second number after point show us the secondary reflect which is gold so when you work with uh, colors from L'Oreal it's good to remember these numbers of uh, reflect uh, and uh, also here we can see how to read uh, how strong or soft is uh, a number of color for example we have, have here uh, also example with um, copper we start from the softest one to the strongest one uh, we see here the number after point which is uh, zero four zero means uh, natural four means uh, copper so this one is natural copper so it's uh, a soft copper um, point four is uh, means uh, that is uh, a no normal copper when you see uh, double times four then it means the copper is uh, intensive and here we can see also an example with uh, point 40 which is uh, the most intensive copper but um, I see that uh, you know what doesn't uh, sell the number today maybe in future they will uh, they will sell, sell it again and now we can see the color selection guide which will help us to reach our uh, dream dream shade here we have five steps which uh, is best to write on a paper um, and the first step is uh, before we choose a color we have to determine our natural level it means we have to find our natural color in one of these shades of natural shades and write it on the paper uh, let's say that uh, our natural color is um, on uh, level 4 and we write it on uh, our paper when we are not sure um, are our, our hair on level 4 or uh, it's uh, it can be between 4 and 5 or between 5 and 6 then is uh, best to write the darkest one because we then we will be sure and we will not make a mistake uh, after that we go to step number 2 and select the dream shade let's say that uh, we want to reach this uh, color which uh, which is 713 ash golden blonde and we can s take uh, one more case we can say that uh, our dream shade is 74 we write it also on the paper and we go to step number three and uh, determine the level of lightening it means how many levels we need to light our hair uh, and now we can calculate from from uh, level four we have to go three steps up to reach number 713 so we go from four one two three steps up then uh, we know to light the light the hair three steps uh, lighter then we have to use nine percent of uh, peroxide so we write it also on our paper steps number four is uh, that we have to determine which uh, undercoat will be achieved and uh, what is that undercoat undercoat is uh, the warm color which is coming all time when we light uh, our hair as you know every time when we use some um, lightening powder we get we get some uh, warm color depending of uh, the level of uh, lightening when we are on level 6 for example we can get some orange or when we are uh, on level 9 
then our color is uh, yellow. Uh, so in our case, when we go from level 4 to level 7, then we will get uh, the yellow orange undercoat. So we write the undercoat uh, on our paper. And step number five is the calculation. Uh, now we have to check if uh, our dream shade are going to support the undercoat, which is yellow, yellow orange. In case when uh, the dream shade is a warm color, like 74, then it's going to support the undercoat because it's also warm color. So in this case, we just take 9% of peroxide, mix it uh, with our color 74 and apply it directly on the hair. But when uh, our dream shade is uh, a natural or a cold color, then uh, we have to think about the yellow orange undercoat because uh, Let's see our example. If we use directly 713 with 9%, then we will not get this color. Our color will become more like 7 natural or even 7 natural uh, gold because our dream shade will mix with the yellow orange. And uh, what we can do in this case? Let's see again the table. Here we have the undercoat shadows and here we have the neutralization shadows. So when we have uh, when our undercoat is uh, yellow orange, then we can use uh, ash or um, iridescent um, reflex to neutralize the undercoat. So Instead to use uh, directly 713, I uh, should uh, use 711, which is uh, intensive ash color with 9%. Um, after a new neutralization, the color can lose uh, the intensity. So instead of uh, intensive ash, it will be ash or uh, ash gold like this. Um, sometimes if um, we are not happy and want to make it even more cold we can use also some um, adds of um, blue mix but uh, also we have to be very careful with the blue mix because uh, it's very strong color very intensive I should start uh, mixing uh, for example uh, one centimeter of blue mix with uh, one to tube of uh, 711 or uh, if we have this number 713 then we can uh, use little more blue maybe two centimeters mixing with one tube of 713 but uh, it it is also very individual depending of the hair of quality thickness uh, um, uh, how porous is the hair or um, how close is the hair so before you use the mix on the hair it's best to uh, to color a part of hair and uh, check if uh, you are happy with the shadow then uh, apply it on the hair if uh, you are not happy add some more blue or uh, maybe uh, if it's too much uh, cold color then uh, add some more of color so every time when we want to make a cold color we have to think about our undercoat and how to neutralize the undercoat and now the last thing I want to explain is uh, how to color uh, how to come back from a blonde hair to a natural or darker color for this uh, we can use um, the color balance in uh, method um, it means that we need to refill our undercoat which we, which we remove it uh, when we light it up our um, color 
So here we have the colors of undercoats depending of um, the level of color and we have to refill that. How we do that? Uh, let's say, uh, let's take an, or two examples. Um, we we say we take one uh, example with uh, warm color and one example with cold color. Let's say that we want to go from level nine to level seven. In this case, what should I do? I should mix. Uh, if we if my dream color is a warm color like seven three, then I should mix um, this color of seven three, uh, like usually with. Uh, um, developer um, one part of color with one part of uh, uh, developer and I should add in my mix about between three and six centimeters of um, um, here we have it of 734 um, which is uh, for uh, warm colors to refill the undercoat for a warm color so I should mix uh, between three and six uh, centimeters and apply it on the hair. Um, in case when my dream color is a cold color like seven one, then in this case I use these uh, colors um, to refill the undercoat, uh, and I should use seven three. This one uh, I should add between three and six centimeters. 7.3 in uh, um, my dream color and apply it on the hair so it works when we need to go down only one or max uh, two steps and when we need to go down more than one or two steps then we can use uh, pre-coloration um, it means that we have to refill again uh, the undercoat uh, of our hair but uh, we use uh, another method for that uh, for example we can take the same uh, colors for uh, refilling of uh, undercoat but we not um, mix it together with our dream colors instead of that we take the colors and um, without mixing with a developer we apply it directly on the parts of hair, on the blonde parts. There we we want to dye our hair in darker color. We apply it and uh, press it uh, in the hair with our hands. Check it if uh, the hair um, absorbed the color. And uh, if you have um, too much uh, color, um, excess of color, then we have to uh, take it out with a comb. After that we can mix the dream color with a developer and apply it on the hair. So we can use this method all the time when we need to dye our hair more than two steps darker. So thank you for watching. If you like uh, this video please support my channel with your likes and uh, now we can see uh, the color chart. Here we have the clear color. Uh, it's a transparent color and uh, we can use the color when we need to make some shadows lighter. We can uh, mix it together with clear. Uh, also it works uh, very good with uh, mixed tones, blue or uh, green when we want to make some crazy colors we can mix it together and uh, for example apply it on uh, blonde hair as you can see here i put um, two variants of uh, colors one is a picture from my color chart and the second one is um, scanner from uh, the official page of L'Oreal. I put it together because some of colors looks uh, more as in the real life um, than other so you can see uh, the color from different uh, angles.
These colors, name it Carmelaine, can uh, cover 100% of white hair. So when you have uh, white hair, you don't need to mix these colors together with fundamental colors. And here we have uh, Inno Supreme, uh, which is made special for uh, white hair. Uh, so when we have 100% of white hair, we can use it directly without uh, mixing it with um, fundamental colors. So thank you for watching.